Hi everybody, thanks for joining us for another story time today. We are going to be talking all about the weather. So one of the first things I do every morning when I wake up is I check the weather. That helps me know what I might do during the day, helps me know how I want to dress for the day. Um, it can help us know if any dangerous weather is coming our way and it helps our farmers know what they might need to do in terms of their plants. Maybe it's time to plant them, maybe it's time to harvest them, maybe they have to be careful because there's a frost coming. So the weather can be helpful for lots of different reasons. We've been having kind of some weird weather lately. Um, it's been a pretty cold and a pretty dry spring so far. We kept saying, when I looked at the weather, it kept saying, it's gonna rain, it's gonna rain, it's gonna rain. And then we didn't really ever get rain on those days except for one day. So we're gonna look at a story today about a little girl who learns how to predict the weather or forecast the weather. So that means that she's studying different parts of the weather and then she's making guesses about what's gonna happen next with the weather. So we'll read a story about that today. And then in the activities down below, um, I'll have some activities where you can make your own tools to help you measure and predict the weather. So our story today is called Mira Forecasts the Future. It was written by Kel Andrews and illustrated by Lissy Marlin. Ooh, it's kind of a cool picture. So it takes place on this big boardwalk near the ocean. Mira couldn't tell the future. That wouldn't bother most people in town who lived their lives front ways forwards with few surprises along the way. But Mira wasn't most people. She was the daughter of the famous Madame Mirabella, the miracle by the sea. Folks came from all over to hear their fortunes. When Madame gazed into the crystal ball, it swirled with magic. When Mira gazed into it, she saw herself, only a bit different. Let's see her reflection of herself in there. But she tried to tell fortunes anyway. Something big is coming your way. It's just a giant wave. Good luck will fall in your lap. This is ice cream cone. You will enjoy attention from a flock of admirers. Bunch of seagulls. Even when she was right, she was wrong. Telling the future is a gift, Madam said. You have it or you don't. Mira didn't. You're good at lots of other things, Madam said, like helping me. All Mira had to do was predict the wait time, but she wasn't even good at that. Wait time, 15 minutes. Looks like it's gonna be a little longer than that. Each day during summer, Mira watched the boardwalk while her mother peered into palms. That's one way fortune tellers read the future is by looking at your palm. One morning, Madam clipped a pinwheel and a windsock next to Mira's chair. I saw you looking at them, said Mira's mom. The next morning, Fred, the fisherman, came over. What's your prediction, Mira? asked Fred, the fisherman. What does he mean by that, a prediction? Yeah, he's asking what Mira's guess is about the weather. Will it be nice enough to fish all morning? Mira was about to say she couldn't predict the future. But then, sorry, I keep moving my camera. She saw the wind gently whir whirring the blades of her pinwheel and fluttering the streamers on her windsock. She felt the warm air and the hot sun on her skin. She studied the clouds that were whiter and fluffier than cotton candy. It'll be sunny all morning, she said. You can fish as long as you want but it's up to the fish to bite. At lunchtime, Fred came back. You were right, Mira. So what weather is headed our way? Ask again tomorrow, she said, and I'll let you know. At the library that evening, Mira and Madam found books about weather. Mira figured out just what to do. So she didn't know, so she researched it. And here's what she found at the library. These are all different tools that are gonna help her predict the weather. So let's see what she found. A thermometer measures the temperature. It tells us how hot or cold it is. This is a barometer. 
It doesn't feel like air has weight, but it does. The barometer measures how much air is pressing on the Earth. When air pressure is high, skies are usually sunny. So here today I have bright blue skies, so my guess would be that the air pressure is high. When air pressure is low, skies are usually cloudy. This is a rain gauge. A rain gauge measures precipitation like rain and snow. A jar with measurements on the side can be used as a rain gauge. The water collects in the jar so it can be measured. A wind sock. You can't see the wind, but you can definitely feel it. Wind socks show which way the wind is blowing. An anemometer. An anemometer measures the wind speed. A pinwheel is like an anemometer because the wind blows hard, the pinwheel spins faster. Clouds. There are two main kinds, cumulus, which are puffy, and stratus clouds, which are flat and layered. Clouds are made of tiny water drops. When they are gray, they are full of water, and it's more likely to rain. All right, now that Mira has all this new knowledge about weather, let's see what she does with it. On the way home, they stopped at the hardware store for supplies. Mira painted, twisted, hooked, and glued until bedtime. Ooh, what's she making? In the morning, Mira opened for business. Mira, Mira on the wall, weather forecasts, free for all. Mira's weather station. What's your prediction? Fred asked. Mira read the temperature on her thermometer and the air pressure on her barometer. She checked her windsock and her pinwheel for the direction and speed of the wind. She observed the color of the sky and the shape of the clouds. Overcast this morning, clear in the afternoon, Mira said. She was right, word spread. What's your prediction, asked Taylor the lifeguard. Sunny, wear SPF 100, Mira said. What's your prediction, prediction asked Mrs. O'Mooney, the shopkeeper. Rainy, keep the postcards inside, Mira said. What's your prediction, asked Sal, the pizza maker. Hot, make extra lemonade, Mira said. Mira was usually right. Sunshine, wind, and rainstorms. And sometimes she was wrong. Not even Madame Mirabella is right all the time, said her mom. The day of the annual surf competition came. Beachgoers came from all over the state to see surfers from all over the world. It was the busiest day on the boardwalk, with the whole town counting on sunshine. What's your prediction, Mira? Good weather for the surf contest today? asked Taylor the lifeguard. Mira checked the thermometer and the wind gauge. She read the barometer. The sky was blue and there was not a cloud in sight. I predict, Mira said, sunny through the morning. The contest was underway. Surfers rode the waves. Tourists crowded the beach. Then Mira checked her gauges. The barometer reading had dropped. Dark clouds were rolling in. What do you think's coming? Do you have a prediction about the weather? She ran to the lifeguard stand. Taylor, a storm is coming, she shouted. Get everyone off the beach. Taylor, the lifeguard, ran to the celebrity judge, but he wouldn't listen. The sun is still shining, said the judge. The girl could be wrong. How do you think that made Mira feel? Mira's usually right, said Fred the fisherman. She's just a kid, said the celebrity judge. She knows what she's doing, said Mrs. O'Mooney, the shopkeeper. It's too important to cancel, said the celebrity judge. This is it's too dangerous to risk, said Mira's mom. Listen to Mira, said Madam. Listen to Mira, said Sal, the pizza maker. Listen to Mira, said Taylor, the lifeguard. The celebrity judge finally nodded. What do you think? Do you think Mira's right? Is there something coming? Is there a storm coming? Or do you think she was wrong? Sometimes our guesses are wrong. Taylor the lifeguard blew her whistle. Surfers coasted out of the water. Tourists flip-flopped into the boardwalk shops and waited. And waited. Uh-oh. Is she wrong? 
The day turned dark as night. Water poured from the sky. Lightning lit up the ocean. Waves pounded the sand where the sunbathers had lounged and children had played. The boardwalk shook with the crash of thunder. Outside, a storm raged. Inside the boardwalk shops, the surfers, beachgoers, shopkeepers, and Mira huddled safe and dry. Mira, you saved us, said the surfer. Madam hugged her. Telling the future is a gift for me, she said. For you, it's a science. Mira smiled. She had told the future after all. She predicted that the next day she'd do it again. And as usual, she was right. Let's see her in her weather station there, predicting the weather for the lifeguard tailor. The end. So Mira used some tools um, in our story to help her predict the weather. One of the things she also looked at was she studied the clouds. She checked her thermometer. So maybe you have a thermometer at home. If you don't, um, there's a lot of different weather apps and I'll put some links down below for you too that you can use to check the temperature. There's a lot of great kid um, weather apps too that are geared towards kids of a certain age. So check those out down below. And then I will post some directions on how to make your own rain gauge, your own windsock and your own anemometer um, if you would like to become a person who studies the weather. Does anybody know what we call those people? They're called meteorologists, and you'll see them on the news giving weather reports, um, and they work really hard to make sure that they're making their best predictions of the weather to help everybody know it's coming and to help keep us safe, too. So check out our resources down below. Hopefully we have great weather this week and you have some time to spend outside. Um, if you make your own weather station, I would love to see what you make or what you come up with and see your kids um, using those tools to predict the weather. So feel free to share photos down below or you can send them to me in an email, but we'd love to see what you're doing. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next Wednesday at one o'clock for another nature story time. Have a great day. Bye.